YouTube, this is Cute Girl. I'm on here doing a quick video for you guys just to show you some items that I recently purchased. So to start off, I'm going to go with eBay slash Evil Bay, some may call it. Um, I got this little clamp here so that I can hook the mannequin head onto it so that I can uh, make some wigs. The mannequin head is not here yet. And you know how it is when you order stuff overseas, it takes time for it to get here. So, I did order one, and so I do plan on making another wig, because I've enjoyed wearing this wig. This, this wig was really made well, and I want to try to make my own wig. So, yeah. So, I'm going to make a wig probably with the Ali Motor hair that you guys saw me review, and maybe I'll try to color and, you know cut it and everything we'll see because i kind of like the wig option because i have the ability to wash my hair whenever i want to so it's working good for me so the next time that i purchased off of ebay other than that clamp i'm not sure of the correct terminology for it but other than that little clamp here and the wig head that hasn't made it here but when it makes it here i will share with you guys because I also ordered some other stuff that, that's from eBay and it's going to take a long time to get here. But I ordered one of these beauty sponges, you guys. This sponge is like $2 or some change. And it kind of mimics the beauty blender. Nice and soft and squishy. But I just cannot bring myself to pay $20 for a real beauty blender. But, you know, never say never. Maybe I'll do it in the future. But, but it definitely mimics it. And it was like $2 and maybe 46 cents. So, the next time I'm going to show you guys is going to be this here. You guys, it's like a dupe for the wig grip. You guys, it's all up and down eBay. But I love this, you guys, because I don't know how to braid my hair under my wigs. And so, instead of going back and forth to the salon to get my hair braided, I just do a couple of cornrows. I don't do all the fancy, you know, braids that are like spiral. I don't know how to do all that. I just know how to do the basic braiding, okay? But this, when you put your wig cap on, even if you don't put a wig cap on, and you put this around your head, it has a Velcro attached to the back of it. I have been wearing this for about, about a week, and I really like it because, actually over a week, and I actually like it because um, the wig doesn't shift around. You see that? It doesn't move around like that. I don't have to worry about my wig going back because as you guys can see, I have a lot. My head is big, okay? The wig fits, but you know how the wig can slide around and everything. And I don't like that. I want my wig to be secure. So this is a good dupe for the wig grip. I only pay like $5 or some change for this versus the wig grip being $15 or $20. So I think I got a good deal on it. And it's supposed to protect your edges and it's supposed to it's supposed to not um go back and again this is what it looks like see it's like a velvet material really like it so it's it's working for me so the next item i'm going to show you guys and this came from burlington i bought these dead sea under eye treatment i like this company dead sea origins and i'll show you guys some of my favorites um later in a different video of some of my favorites that i actually like but this brand i really like them and their facial wipes well not, you know, make a removal wipe, sorry. And they work really good and don't burn my eyes. So I thought I'd try the under eye treatment here, you guys. I got this from Burlington and again, it, is, it was $3.99. But we priced it, as you can see, about $9. Then I decided to get me some facial wipes. I couldn't find the Dead Sea Origin wipes. But I was able to find the Intensive Eye Coconut Oil. And so far, so good. It doesn't burn my eyes. And they were only $3.99. And you can find a lot of makeup wipes, a lot of beauty sponges, just a lot of makeup and cosmetics, period, at Burlington. They even have nail polishes. You go, go to a good Burlington, you'll find OPI nail polishes that have been marked down and everything. So I like, I like Burlington. So the next time I'm going to show you guys is um, the items that I purchased from the beauty supply store. So to start off, I got these. I don't know if there are any videos about this online. Um, yeah, I got them in two colors. And this is the Nika K Lip Color Slash Gloss. Now it's supposed to be matte, but as y'all can see, they got this package real tight, okay? They don't want nobody getting this, which is good because I've gone to the beauty supply store, purchased items, got home, realized that they were already, you know, had been tampered with, 
you know, I just wish that they would put out testers. That way people wouldn't be opening the um, items because most of the items in the beauty supply store, like the LA Girl um, Flat Matte Pigment, a lot of those are most of the time, they're not sealed up like this. And a lot of the people come in and swatch them and everything. This particular color is Black Walnut. Oh, that's a dark color too. It's really pretty. Okay. It has a candy-like scent like that. Like a noun later. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. This is Calla Lily. And y'all know I like these type of colors. I'm a purple fanatic. So I don't know if these dry matte. I'll have to do a separate video for that. But that's what Calla Lily looks like. Really pretty, right? So we'll see. I'll just test these out. These could be just regular lip glosses which I think but you know they were under a display to show that they were supposed to dry matte so I don't know and I can't tell by this swatch because it's still kind of shiny so I have to get back with y'all on those so next few items that I purchased were from Colourpop y'all know I love Colourpop I, know I purchased wet from Colourpop which is the is in a pearlized finish you guys this is what it looks like it's supposed to be like a dupe for Viva Glam Rihanna 2. So I'll have to do a separate video for that and compare. But that's it here, you guys, so you can see. I, I purchased Barracuda. I, this has been on my list to actually purchase. So this is Barracuda. Barracuda is really pretty. Nice, pretty nude to wear. You know, ColourPop is known for doing a lot of mauve like, taupey like um, little products. And I like that. Kind of like what I have on now, you know, kind of mauve, but that is Barracuda right there. And then I purchased a set. Um, this is, let's see, Love Bugs, a liner, and also the mat. So I purchased a kit for this, and I want to say it was like on sale for like $11 and some change. You guys, you can find it in their last call section, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's real pretty. I was looking for another terracotta lipstick. And this is Secret Stash. Yeah, it's a Matte X formula. And I really love ColourPop's Matte X formula. Because y'all know I love my matte. And this is uh, Love Bug, the pencil. You can wear with that. I love ColourPop's lip pencils. They make the best lip pencils to me. Um, you can wear them as lipsticks. And they're not too they're not over drying. So that's it here. You see how creamy that pencil is? That's that's why I like them. And then here's Love Bug, the actual liquid lipstick. I've heard mixed reviews about this, about it has over drying and everything. I thought I'd give it a chance because you know sometimes um, things products might not be on, up to par like when you first get them, but after they've been out for a while, everything they work out. So all three of those are the same color. They're just the lip pencil, the matching lip pencil. And this is June Bug, you guys. I like that. So I can't wait to wear this. I thought it was going to be close to um, one of those other liquid lipsticks that I have. But it's not. Because this was in the Goodbye section too. And it's the color Cusp. And I want to say it came out at the end of the year. But this is it right here. Look how pretty this shade is. Just a real pretty green. And you, you guys know I'm a sucker for green shadows and this is what it looks like it is packed with glitter it has maybe like blue green let's see what else i don't know maybe silver but i see blue and green but it's really really pretty you guys you like green eyeshadows you are going to like cuss because it's one of those ultra glitter shadows and i'm a fan of ultra glitter Ultra metallic and metallic shadows by Coca. The frost ones are fine, but I just really prefer the ones that are like packed with glitter. Next item I'm going to show you guys, which is the last item from ColourPop, and this is Bordeaux. And this has been on my list, okay? Bordeaux has been on my list for real, for real, okay? And this came out with like their fall set. Beautiful blush. It's like a coppery, burnt orange. That's the only way I can describe it, you guys. So, that's it right there. 
You guys can see that. The next few items are going to be from the local CCO, which is the Cosmetic Company Outlet, as some of you may know. Pretty much discounted um, Smashbox is in there, Estee Lauder is in there, obviously. MAC is in there, and there's Clinique, okay? So I did purchase the uh, Mineralized Foundation, the NW43, but it was just way too light for me. And I know with some of the MAC foundations, you're not the same color all across the board. And I'm NW43 in like two or three foundations, and I'm like 8.0 in Matchmaster. So I had to take it back and get an exchange. So they don't do refunds, so I had to get an exchange for that. I went in there, they have the collection for the heirloom, which is 2014 holiday. They got the 2015 holiday and also the 2016. So, obviously MAC doesn't expire. I don't know when it expires, but they still have old products. They have the Simpson palettes in there. So, go check it out. I'm going to have to go back. But that I purchased Imaginary. I'm not sure what collection this is from, but I'm pretty sure it's from a collection because um, they have a lot of limited edition products in there. That's imaginary. You can use that as a liner, you can use it as an eyeshadow base, or you can just put it on your lid because with these paint pots, they're kind of like the ColourPop shadows. They're once they're, you know, put on, they set and they stay. You don't do a lot of smudging or smearing or whatever creasing. It just stays where it's supposed to be. And that is so pretty. I might use this as a liner. But we'll see. So that is Imaginary. The next product that I purchased was this Retro Matte. And oh, and this paint pot here was $15.50. If you know anything about paint pots, they're normally like $22. So that was $15.50. And then I had to get this, which is the Retro Matte in Slipper Orchid. This is it. You know I love my purples, okay? So this was, let me see if I could, I'm going to say this is like $14. I'd have to look for my receipt because I don't think it's on here. Because I went twice. $14.75. And the retro mats are normally like $22 if I'm not mistaken. But this is it here. And I want to say that this is a limited edition. Ooh, this top, this top is over here tight. Okay, so I want to say that it was limited edition, you guys, and I like this type of applicator because it's very precise and you can put it on really well. So let's see. I am right-handed, so I'm really swatching weird, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's here. Slipper, what is it again? Mm, Slipper Orchid. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to wear that. You know... I love my ColourPop Light Gen, my MAC Heroin. I love purple colors like this. So, very pretty. Next shit I'm going to show you guys is barbecue. Y'all remember this collection. The MAC Toledo collection. I love it. I love their packaging. This is like the box here. And then, of course, it slides out. So, lip gloss comes in here. But this is like the cover for it. So sleek. I love it. So, I purchased barbecue. I was in the market for like an orange, more orange. I don't know why I'm just hooked on orange right now. I was looking for something. Oh, boy. This is so pretty. Barbecue. Yes. So pretty, you guys. Nice orange shade. This one is not too bright. It's almost like a tomato red color. And I purchased this lip pencil from the, what is it? Proenza, Proenza, sure. You guys remember this collection? This liner was $14.75. You know how my Max, um, let's see. Their Pro Long Wear liners are like $20 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. They're more than their uh, basic uh, liners, the standard liners. But yes, this is it here. Let's swatch it right there. And that's what it looks like a nice red. And I'll probably wear this all over my lips, just fill them in all the way and just wear it like a lipstick because I was looking for something like this too. Very pretty. This is a really, really pretty color. But yeah, that concludes this haul, you guys. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.